We're here with Ryan Garrett and Brock Butler with the Heart Wreckers here in Nashville, Tennessee at the um, Nashville Fairgrounds, BSing with Bubba. Yeah, so uh, thanks for coming on thanks today. For us, yeah, so, uh, man, uh, what better way to, to – um, you think of Nashville, you don't think of racing, you think of country music. And, and that's – and we, we, we're kind of doing this podcast, um, um, kind of gearing up for some racing here later on in the next month or next month. And, um, you know, uh, we'll, we'll see. But just tell us a little bit about you guys and how you got started and the songwriting and – um, you know, it's, it's kind of, you know, it's two different, you know, spectrums, but, you know, I, I grew up, you know, just wanting to race. That's all I done. And I'm sure it's the same for y'all and how y'all become artists and, and, uh, just tell us a little bit about that and, and where you're going and what your plan is, what the future, what you're looking at and, um, see how it goes. Cool. Well, I, uh, I moved here in 2017 and I had been touring in like emo rock punk bands like yeah <laughs> ever since i was like hey, 14 i'm telling you the, yeah. the the one of the best concerts i ever been to i'm a country guy but one of the best concerts i ever been to was like uh theory of dead man oh that rocks. was like rocked out like yeah. it was like awesome you know that's awesome right on. now but yeah i did a bunch of stuff like that and then i don't know i kind of just you know started coming i wanted something new i spent a lot of time in los angeles and i just didn't like it you know yeah. i mean i like la i just didn't like being there all the time yeah and I was like, I want to go to Nashville. Um, a buddy of mine had a bunch of friends out here that write songs, and mm-hmm. they were all in a bunch of bands. So we just started writing, and this was back in like 2015, tw- before I moved, lived here. Mm-hmm. And um, they just all started coming out country. So we started coming back, you know, every month, writing country songs. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna be a country artist. Ended up moving here, did the solo artist thing for a little while. Um, started writing for a publishing company called Porchlight Music uh, a few years ago. Uh, I'm not with that company anymore, mm. but we, um, I was writing for them, and then we were at this bar called The Red Door that we hang out yeah, a lot been there at, a time and too. I met this dude, and we started writing songs, nice. and then I was like, you want to start a band, man? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so you, when you came from L.A. to Nashville, I mean, that's a lifestyle well, change I was, too, well, right? I wasn't living in L.A. I was just, I, like, I had been going up there to write, and then I was doing, filming some stuff out there, and... <laughs> So where are you originally from? I'm from Bernie, Texas. Bernie, Texas. And we actually went to the same high school in Bernie, Texas. Oh, wow. Here. But I never met him in high school. I met him here. I'm from Louisiana. After Katrina, I moved to Texas briefly. And uh, we went to that same high school. Never met. He's a year younger than me. And then uh, I you know, went off to a couple of different military schools in Texas. And then, yeah, we never connected until we were... Drinking at Red Door here That's in crazy. Nashville. That's crazy. It's crazy. It's a small world, dude. Yeah, it's insane. Where, so where is... In reference geographically for your hometown, uh, Bernie's okay. about 15, 20 minutes northwest of San Antonio. Okay, uh, I'm so originally true. from Louisiana in a town called Port Allen, which is like south of Baton Rouge. Yeah, yeah. and uh, so then you came to Nashville when? And so Katrina was in two thousand five. I think I ended up in Texas in two thousand six, and I moved to Nashville in twenty one. Okay, and then you've done some writing for Tim McGraw. Yeah, so I currently I'm I'm working for uh, Tim's publishing company, writing over there. We actually wrote a pretty good one with Tim. A we wrote we ago. wrote one with him. It was wild. We weren't even writing for him. We were just writing, and he comes and he's like, "Hey y'all, go on, go on write a song." <laughs> we're like, "Yeah, we'll stop what we're doing right now." <laughs> yeah. So so That's so awesome. so take it take us through like the writing of the song. Like I, I've met guys like Wendell Mobley. Uh, I write with his brother all the time. Do you? Yeah. Bryce Mike. Long. Is he related to Mikey Mobley? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, I know Mikey. And you know Wendell, Wendell Races. Yeah. Uh, he's in racing. Uh, and Bryce Long, those guys, so I've known those guys. And I know their side of writing a song. So just briefly, when you get to writing that song, what's just a pen and paper? Is it an idea? It all depends, man. Like, it's different for everybody. Like, there'll be times where, we'll, like, I'll come in, I'll be like, I got a chorus. Or I got one line, or he'll just have be like, dude, I got this guitar riff with no words, and then it kind of it all just depends. It like, all just some runs. Some people have a system, like some people have like a way that they do it, and that's like their program. We are kind of a little bit more freeform. I mean, just speaking for Ryan and I, but you know, like he's saying, sometimes it starts with a title. You know, like I've got this title. Let's see what that means. And sometimes it's like I've got this abstract idea. But like to me, that's when some of the some of the best songs are written. Some of the best ideas come when you just wing things. Oh yeah! Like I've, I, I pretty much say I've, I've winged my whole life. You know what I mean? I like feel, I don't plan yeah. on nothing. 
The majority of our songs are, are, yeah. are yeah. Wong. <laughs> oh, Wong. Yeah. Wong. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so do you guys follow racing much? N- I, know I, I watch it, it sometimes. Yeah. You know, like I don't know. I just like I said on the phone earlier. I was like, I just know they go fast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from like South Louisiana, so like it was always NASCAR. But uh, I was a baseball kid, so yeah. they were doing NASCAR. I was doing baseball. I was always around it. Um, I have an uncle who was like a, a derby car guy, mm-hmm. but uh, yeah, I uh, I know I know a little, I know a little bit about you because you're like one of the G's of the sport. So like well, I know your name. You, you specialize in like late model cars, right? I just cars, been right? doing it too long. <laughs> oh, is that what it is? <laughs> Almost twenty five years now. I've been. I need to. Yeah. If I could retire, but but yeah, there's a lot of interest. Um, a lot of songwriters, uh, record labels, and things that are that have a lot of involvement in racing. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's, it's pretty neat. Uh, and then they get to come here. So maybe we can fun. maybe we can get y'all to sing the National Anthem here in a couple weeks. That'd be awesome. Hey, I just did it at the Sounds game, the baseball team yeah, here we'll in Nashville. To, yeah, we'll I'd love to do I'm that. So down to <laughs> and you've got, you've got a lot of big guys like uh, Big Machine Records, uh, Scott. Um, Scott Bruschetta. Bruschetta. He's, he's big into racing. Um, you've got another Red, Red Street Records. They're big into it. Um, uh, you know, talking about Wendell Mobley, uh, he's got on the side of all the uh, Willie Allen cars. It says Mobley Speed. I don't know if that's a motor deal he's got or something. But so, what what turns y'all on to to country music? What? Did... It's just real. It's real. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like I said, like I was touring in like pop emo punk bands, and like I'm not down talking any of that at all. It's just like. The storytelling behind country music is just that yeah. much better than any. What about other the women? What about the women? Oh, that too. <laughs> <laughs> that country too. girls, man. Come on. Yeah, yeah. We're, both, we're both from the south, so yeah, you know. I know but all about that. I'll, I'll second what what Ryan is saying there. You know, all, there's lots. There's good music. I think you can find in pretty much any genre. But yeah. Yeah. overall, the type of music that has the best songwriting. I mean, there's just no competition for country, yeah. in yeah. my opinion. Yeah. I agree. Not to get back to the to the women part, not to get y'all in any trouble, but um, <laughs> you play you play on Broadway too. That, no. That, that, no, this will be no? the first time. This will be our first time ever playing on Broadway. Okay, yeah. so you don't play there, but yeah. it's mostly cover stuff down there, and we just do we originals. Really do covers, I got you. Yeah. So you just do originals. So I mean, it's uh, being an artist, like being someone that's writing songs. I mean, it's kind of got to be like a chick magnet, right? <laughs> uh, you, you would think that you know and it, when you're in when you're in Bunt Bernie, or are you Texas, saying yeah. or are you saying your game's not good? No. <laughs> but know? no, it's like that with racing too. No, I, mean, I, I feel right. like That's I feel right. like here, like if like if we're on the road, like for instance, we played in Cesar, Illinois, a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Over there, that yeah, that's cool. But here, they're just like everybody here is a songwriter and a musician. The, the theme with the girls here is stay away from the musicians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I can see so that. That's yeah. why yeah. we're both dating musicians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I got that. I like that. Exactly. What, what, what else do you? Um, what else do you want? You know, your new band and and uh, your new group that you got going on. What What do you want the people to know about you guys and maybe where they can find your music and things like <laughs> I know. that? Uh, well, Brock likes to call us. A country duo with a pair. <laughs> but uh, we're uh, in the process of getting some new recordings out to everybody. Um, we have a bunch of demos out right now, but this band is so fresh that we've kind of been in the meeting stages right now yeah. and doing little label showcases here and there. But we have some really big things planned for the new year, but can't we can't talk some, about it yet. Yeah, it gotcha, sucks, yeah. but, <laughs> but you will find You will out. see our name next year. Yeah. Uh, That's awesome. Yeah, and just... Keep up to date with us on like TikTok and Instagram. We're called Heart Records. What's our Instagram? Real Heart Records. At Real Heart Records. At yeah. Real Heart Records. So yeah, plug mm-hmm. you there. Um, you brought a guitar. I did. You want to sing us a sing us a tune? Yeah, I can do yeah. that. How is uh, that gonna work? Does he need to like plug in? No. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> that thing's in the way too, so you had to. That. Back Wait, down. which one should we? Which, which one should we see? Let them pick. Tell them about both songs. We'll play. All right, so we got like a song. Idea, we got a song about being a degenerate and being, you know, just a bad boy. <laughs> and then we another one that we might that we we're gonna ask for you guys. It's called "Go South." And it's about like wanting country music to kind of go back to the way it used to be. Well, that's what I, that's one of the questions I was gonna ask, and I lost my train of thought. So. Do you think, do you feel, uh, several different questions, but do you feel like uh, country music has, has obviously changed? Oh, yeah. It's always changing. Like, it went from the hip-hop country stuff to the pop yeah. country stuff to the the bro country stuff. Yeah. And I feel like a lot of the real stuff is coming back. And I'm not think, saying, That's what I was saying. It's coming back. And I'm not saying any of that stuff is bad. It's just, you know, there was, I feel like there was a point in time when 
you would listen to the radio and people weren't really even saying anything yeah. real. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I feel like now it's coming back to where real songs and real stuff is back. Mm-hmm. And that's kind of what this song is kind of about. I mean, I think that there's a lot of good stuff coming from all the different eras oh, there's, there's, of country no, yeah, music. I, I agree. I like I it agree. all. My, my thing is, it's the newest thing that I'm not super on board with is this whole, like, made by the industry and not by, like, what people are into hearing. You yeah. Know? In the past, exactly. it's always been, like, and regardless of what you think about all the different kinds of country music, mm-hmm. it's always been something that people wanted to hear at that point in time. Yeah. But now, it's like, a lot of the time, you get a lot of stuff kind of shoved down your throat by the powers that be, and they're like, this is what the next big thing is. Everyone's yeah. like, uh, okay, if you say so, you yeah. know. I'm a 90s guy. The 2000s, I kind of lost it, but I feel like I'm coming back. Um, but... Man, I tell you what, I'm 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 like a, I think, I. One of my favorite artists is I I like him, Chris Stapleton. I love Stapleton. Oh, like just yeah. he sung the national anthem the other day at the, at the dirt race or at the, uh, no where was it cup race? Where did he sing the national anthem? Super Bowl. This is Super Bowl. Yeah. I can't remember. It was just awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Stapleton's got, I mean, that whole that whole first album that he put out. I mean, he was a songwriter for years. Yeah, and years. yeah. You guys probably already know that. Some yeah, people yeah. might not know that. And I mean, he's got a bunch of big cuts with a bunch of big artists. And then there's the way I heard this story. I don't know if this is true because you know word travels playing telephone and all that jazz. But uh, so he had recorded a song and they're like, "This is an amazing song." His publisher wanted to wanted to have it demoed so that they could pitch the song to other artists. And uh, he cuts the demo. They send it off, and uh, the label of the person they wanted to cut the song gets back to them like this song's amazing I don't have anybody who can sing this hmm. you know, yeah. like, nobody can sing like that and, yeah. and then they're like well you know should we have somebody else cut it and they're like no no bring that guy in well, yeah. let's hear some of his stuff and then lo and behold wow. Chris Stapleton became Chris Stapleton he was also writing bangers for everybody for like 10 years yeah. before that yeah. is yeah. this going to be okay right here it's not uh, gonna be too- yeah, just pull it a little bit closer to your mouth there man just me yeah okay and I'm going to have you borrow his microphone that's cool are we doing Go South? Yeah, why, let's do the, why not? the, uh, the uh, old country. One second. I just want to make sure I don't break this thing. There yeah. Mm. Ready? All right, I'm ready. This new sound that they think they found ain't me. I got a middle finger hitting all six strings. And that radio ain't been playing them songs we need But you better believe they keep them on repeat We can save this town, bringing back that down-home sound I hope it all goes south Good old boys with the guitars out Singing them songs that they're living right now Three chords tied tied to the hard line That's what I'm talking about I hope it all goes south One way ticket to a piss drunk crowd Spilling beer and singing loud Let's raise one up and watch it all burn down And hope it all goes south I hope it all goes south And this world could use more cowboy boots But the ones that they're wearing been mass produced And the hits y'all get have all been punched in By a man in a three-piece suit I hope it all goes south Good old boys with the guitars out Singing them songs that they're living right now Three chords tied tight to the hard line That's what I'm talking about I hope it all goes south One way ticket to a piss drunk crowd Spilling beer and singing loud Let's raise one up and watch it all burn down And hope it all goes south Hope it all goes south I hope it all goes south What they sell can go to redneck hell I'm out I hope it all goes south 
good old boys with them guitars out singing them songs at the living right now three chords tied tied to the hard life it's what i'm talking about i hope it all goes south one way ticket to a piss drunk crowd spilling beer singing loud let's raise one up and watch it all burn down so let's raise one up and watch it all burn down and hope it all goes south i 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 hope it all goes south yeah Nice job. That's pretty good. I there. swallowed my dip in that little break. <laughs> <laughs> that little break. I was like, I hope it all goes out. <laughs> you dip? I swallowed my fucking dip. <laughs> oh, man. That's that happens great. To me. That happens to me a lot. Uh, uh, oh, that's no. awesome. <laughs> and, and, and really, I mean, that song really backed up what you just said. I mean, it's like country music is... Um, oh, thank you so much. Dang. It's like you're being forced sometimes to maybe to write something, but yeah, it's like a forced feeding. If you can get them to force release that, that 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 speaks a lot. I mean, that's yeah, really good. That's, 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 and and to be fair, we do have people that are like really bringing back. I mean, this whole like, you know, the idea of that song is like some dude writing a song about what the fuck he's going. Sorry, I'm no, sorry. You're good. Like, you're good. <laughs> some dude about what the fuck he's going through, and you have your like Tyler Childerses and like you know Zach Bryan to a degree, like people who are just. This is what I want to say, and I don't really care what you think about yeah. it. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll tell you uh, one that just got released like um, two or three months ago. Willie, uh, William Michael Morgan. Oh, yeah. yeah. Willie. Yeah, Willie. In Mark II, right? Yeah. And it's a song that, you know, talking about Willie, Willie has, you know, had that number one song that Sam Hunt, uh, I Met a Girl, mm -hmm. Sam Hunt wrote it. And then he released it and went all the way to number one. And then he kind of just disappeared because I think people were trying to force him in an yeah. avenue that he didn't want to go. And now he's back writing to what he wants. Mm -hmm. Another classic example. I've written a yeah. bunch of good songs with William Michael. We just <laughs> started one with him on the bus a couple weeks ago in Illinois. Dirty, it's called Dirty Water. Yeah. Dirty Water? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or Muddy Water. Muddy Water. Yeah, muddy water. Dirty Water, gross. It's, it's, like, <laughs> it's like the idea that like this dude was such a son of a bitch that the Mississippi was clean until they baptized him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is that really what it is? Yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. Maybe, that's, that's like the whole idea behind that song. It's not done yet, but we'll finish it. Uh, that's he cool. actually just texted me the other day. He was like, we need finish that song man i forgot about it me too <laughs> yeah. i think he's down in mississippi now oh yeah i think he's down there or yeah whatever. but uh, yeah so maybe uh man do i need to give this back to him right now or is yeah, yeah, yeah probably yeah, right, you go. so yeah so um i think it would be badass if we could maybe do something for like here in a couple weeks um this this on the car or somehow get y'all's music out there yeah, and we can awesome. do something because this this event here in the next couple of weeks is um it'll be pretty big so uh yeah. we'll see what we can do yeah that'd be, be pretty sick. cool that'd be yeah. awesome yeah we'll come play something if you want us to or we'll just come hang we'll and drive drink. the car <laughs> <laughs> yeah you just People go fast the car. <laughs> just go fast i think i'm the last generation that can drive a stick shift anymore so <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah don't okay don't go far here here lately but Good? Yeah. All right. Well, weird. appreciate y'all coming on. Thanks for so, having yeah, us. had a great yeah, time. Awesome. And uh, yeah, awesome. um, hopefully see y'all in a couple weeks at All-American. Yeah. yeah. You got our number, man. Reach out to us. Cool. I got a middle finger hitting all six strings. And that radio ain't been playing them songs we need. But you better believe they keep them on repeat. Hey guys, uh, thanks for watching and listening uh, this week's episode of BS and with Bubba. Everyone go online, check it out, uh, like, subscribe, comment, share uh, to get us out there, get us get us going. So uh, check out BubbaPollard.com for all the t-shirts and also go and like uh, Sport Action Films um, to get great content and content to come.